Okay, uh, here we have the latest chassis design by uh, Tim Moore. That's that Geek Moore. Um, I much prefer it. Number one, there's a lot more room on top to put a Raspberry Pi. Tim designed his first one, it was to hold an Arduino or a shrimp and therefore didn't need as much room, but when you're on a pie you need a good surface on the top there to stick it on leaving room at the front to stick on ultrasonic sensors uh, its design is now clipped together with these clips which means that it's much, you know, I can pick it up by the top level here in with my finger and thumb and it's all held together there's no glue here he uh, usually holds the motors in place by sticking some double-sided tape in there. Just going to have a look to see what he's done. In fact, the motor might just be jammed in without a need for any tape at all. Doesn't look as if there's any tape in there. If it is, it's extremely thin. So he just gets a couple of uh, motors and wheels off eBay and cuts out these wood. Because he's one of these chaps who's got access to a laser cutter working in a high school, of course. But the design is freely available on the internet. Anyway, enough of this chat about uh, wooden design. It's as bad as an unboxing video. Let's get it down the ground uh, and get it in action. Oh, that's what you've come to see. So, just running my scratch program. This is it running at half speed. I think these motors are more highly geared compared to the Magician Sassies. Certainly, if I tell it to go in a straight line, it just goes in a straight line. So that'll make line following a bit easier. You don't have to cope with the robot deciding to go off on its own direction. There we go. Beautiful in action. Not a problem at all. Forward, left, forward again. I'm just using a simple um, ULN, the simplest motor controller you can get. A ULN 2003. Just uh, stuck on top here, a little pie bow case, of course. Um, this board here is what's called a mini PIO. Mini Pi I.O. board made by a guy called Tony Dixon up in Newcastle. So basically, just a plain circuit board with this clever thing with the headers down the side, and then you can just wire them across to the chips. Makes it very easy to prototype different sorts of motors. You can make up yourself an H bridge one just as easily and program it on there. But anyway, it was all about the chassis. Sorry. Plenty of room, all holds together well, much more robust than the previous design, um, so that's a big hit with me. Thanks for listening, bye.